I'm Victor Thompson. Um, I started working on the Ubuntu project for phones probably around March of 2013 and I've been working on the music app for the platform since around May of that year. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. Cool. Yeah. I'm Andrew Hazen. I've worked on the music app since about July, August 2013. Basically started contributing patches and then moved up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Curiosity, I guess. Yeah, really. I sort of like built my own machine and then was just like, oh, what's this open source stuff really? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're both software engineers, both in study and in practice, so yeah. it's pretty much a clear jump to want to develop for the platform that you work with, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And was it hard to get started, or like, uh, how did you find it? I'd say before the SDK, it was quite difficult. Like, I've been trying to write my own GTK apps and things. For a desktop, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. It, was felt, it was difficult to contribute to the platform, because they're quite well established. Fast apps as well and it's, yeah, yeah. you have to learn the whole code base whereas it's like it's I could just walk yeah. into the SDK and create something awesome create pretty, something, quick. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. quickly. It's really cool. really quick to make things. Yeah. Um, you know everyone has free time it just depends on where you allocate that time too so yeah throwing a few hours here and there isn't too hard and yeah, we yeah. both have kind of varying schedules such that he's up late sometimes coding and I'm up yeah. late coding sometimes yeah. and sometimes it's fun just to hack on things together I guess. Cool. Yeah. I really don't do IRC, I don't know why. Yeah. I feel like I get I pinged too yeah. often. So. Yeah. <laughs> Try and hide from the world. Right. We yeah. do hangouts mostly. Yeah, we yeah. usually ping on hangouts. It's another language, another framework, but um, another sort of way of developing applications. Because it's quite different QML right. to other ways. How do, you, how do you find it? How do you find QML? Initially, quite confusing yeah. um, compared to like GTK or whatever. But now it's just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty, quick to make fast. things. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Same. Um, QML is a nice language to structure things in, but also I think we've gotten the benefit to learn more about Qt in general. Yeah. Um, yeah. Something that I didn't know much about previously, so getting so. the chance to write, I'm a C++ programmer in, okay. in general, so getting the chance to know more about Qt and write small things in Qt yeah. is... So what, what do you think about Qt? Would you use it elsewhere? Like, it I'd like to try to. I like the fact that it's aiming to be cross-platform. Yeah. I think yeah. it, I think there's a large benefit to having that working on all mobile platforms. If that's, mm -hmm. if that could be the future, that'd be excellent. This, I started by just following the tutorial first. It's like on the website. To, yeah, how to make your first QML app. Okay. Was it on the, the Ubuntu website or something? Yeah, developer.ubuntu.com. Okay. Uh, as a getting started page. Yeah. And then once you sort of understand how to write an app, then yeah. the start doing really small patches mm -hmm. to other apps to say we tag some bugs with like bite size right so yeah designed to be small that's right you joined during a hack fest right yeah right. those were very fest. helpful yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. where, where does that happen is that um, like all over the place or? right it's very you know a very remote thing where people just get together and you know we oversee kind of a bunch of small bugs that have been filed and People okay. come and contribute and learn more about the applications and the platform in general and yeah. overall just learn how to contribute. Um, I've been like creating my own music app, so yeah. it sort of made sense. I'd like had similar issues that they were having as well, yeah. so like with the database issues I've patched. Mm -hmm. so. Cool. And then you? I saw a hole in the platform and I'm a music fan myself. I used to be yeah. a bass player and okay. I just kind of thought it needs a music player. It's well received. Sometimes things don't always work. Um, you know, it's still a, a relatively growing, fast growing platform. So sometimes we'll break things and things yeah, yeah. aren't always perfect. Yeah. But overall people are very pleased with, you know, just having something slightly different mm -hmm. with Ubuntu in their pocket. Yeah. Or even on their desktop. I think a lot of people love the fact that they can run it on the yeah. desktop. Yeah. 
just the fact that it's a little bit more visual pleasing, visually pleasing than rhythm box or something yeah, right, like right. that. So you see it becoming an alternative to the existing music players on desktop as well? Potentially, maybe not for power users yeah, right now. Yeah, can't like rip CDs or whatever. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, yeah. But just for having something in the corner that you can drag and resize to something small and mm. yeah. you know, pin to top and let it play away. It's pretty exciting to like, think your app can be across all of them, the same code and everything. But yeah. It's a little bit challenging as well because there's not many apps that got it right yet. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. once there's a few out there, then there'll be sort of standard way of doing it. Yeah. Right. Um, it's yeah, even more amazing for the platform itself. Just the whole thing is yeah. just amazing. It can mm. be done perfectly the well, way we wanted. This is our second one. Um, I think we've enjoyed both of them. Um, it was really nice to put a face to a name and get something other than just an IRC neck. Yeah. Yeah. Being able to like walk up to people and tell them to fix this bug sort of thing. Yeah. Rather than ping them on IRC, you don't know if they've got it. Yeah. Or you can't show it to them or anything. So, yeah. yeah. Right. And it's really something it's yeah. really something you don't think about, but when you try to ask ask one person for help, you might only get their assistance, but when you're at a sprint, you might ask a question to someone, and three yeah. other people might come along with answers yeah. and solutions that might work better than you would have had before. Yeah. And you don't get that on IRC. Well, you might. <laughs> right. And everyone's nice, everyone's having a good time, everyone's yeah. hanging out, just... Yeah. Good food, hard work, yeah. uh, good beers, <laughs> where we get good. Yep. yep. What more can you ask for? <laughs> yeah. Cool guys, uh, well, thanks very much. Thank you. I'm looking thank forward you. to the music app coming out. Um, same. Yeah, same. <laughs> see you guys in the next sprint. Cool.